Hi, this is Richard Murray with another session of Parking Lot Theology. I want to use a legal term to express something that's really troubling. The legal, the legal term is quid pro quo, and what it basically mean, means is something for something. In other words, I give you something, you give me something, I give you something, something for something. So it really monetizes everything. It monetizes relationships, it monetizes governments, it monetizes acts of kindness. Um, my son played for me a scene from Lord of the Rings where Smeagol, you know, the deformed poor wretch who's basically got a divided soul and is double-minded in all his ways. He says, uh, we'd be nice to you if you'd be nice to us. Uh, you know, the whole point of it is, I'm only going to listen to you if you listen to me. We have to do it together, we don't do it at all. How this practically works out sometimes in ways that, dis that are dis disturbing are when people are giving lamentations. Um, and, uh, you know, Black Lives Matter is a lamentation. Abortion, you know, people who, who are staunchly against abortion, that's a lamentation. They're lamenting for who they see as the lost souls in the situation. The Black Lives Matter, uh, they're lamenting uh, over, you know, over the racial injustices that they see, the recurring over and over again injustices. But I see something disturbing among, among Christians when Christians won't listen to your lamentation if you don't listen to theirs. Now listen, you know, it's good to listen to any lamentation, even if you disagree with the topic that they're lamenting about, at least to respect the power of a lamentation. You know, but there's a whole book in the Bible about lamentations. And when people are hurting, when they're suffering, when they're processing pain, they say all sorts of things that may or may not be factually accurate or may or may not be perfect prose, but they are speaking from their gut, and that deserves to be honored, if for nothing else, to empathetically come in and come alongside those people. If Christians are going to ignore every other topic uh, because you know because their topic, you know, the abortion topic, is approached, and they're not going to extend their empathy to anyone else, then that's a quid pro quo type of thing uh, that uh, that we need to avoid. You know, Revelation talks about in the end times uh, that men will barter for each other's souls, and you know, and you say, well, what does that mean? Well, I mean, it, it means that we don't do anything unless we're paid. I don't listen to you unless you pay me, or. You, you know, everything is monetized. We become friends and then, you know, you try to get me into some, um, you know, pyramiding scheme or me do it to you or me doing it to you to get something in return. We really have to eliminate the profit motive, that I'm not looking to profiteer off another person's pain. I'm not looking to profiteer uh, personally from being friends with anybody. And that lets us free to hear the Spirit. See, I don't think we can hear the Spirit about things if we're going to have an eye for an eye. This is a different way to look at the eye for an eye. I mean, in the Old Testament, it's eye for an eye punishment. But it's also an eye for an eye mentality. Uh, that, uh, if, hey, you don't respect my issues, I'm not going to respect your issues. When I think the thing is, that we, we should be sensitive to each other's pain and to each, each other's lamentations. And I love when Paul says, you know, rejoice with those who rejoice and mourn with those who mourn. Uh, we'd be a lot better off, and who knows that maybe if you extend, if you're the first to extend empathy without expecting a quid pro quo back, all right, without demanding, well, you need to listen to mine. If we just extend it free of charge, then who knows what wonders that might work in the other person to eventually become empathetic to us. A lot of people aren't empathetic to Christian causes because we're so uh, we're so quid pro quo in our thinking. So anyhow, I hope that helps, uh, and I'm not. Um, you know, I, I'm just for mourning with those who mourn. That's the only thing I, I'm saying. I'm not saying anything political. I'm just talking about our motives as we process these things and what would Christ have us to do. Thanks.